Alex Lanier Art back with another creative mission. Now, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and click that post notification bell below because you don't want to miss any of these videos. So I have a lot of creative content coming and you need to be here for that. So I'll see you guys inside. Now in this video right here, you're going to see me create a surreal beach scene where I have an orange tree that's growing out of the beach when these oranges falling to the sand and these hot air balloons grabbing the oranges and flying off into the sunset. So that's what you're going to see me create today. Um, I use 3ds Max for my main objects like the tree and the hot air balloons and I use stock photography which I took with my Sony uh, mirrorless camera and combined everything together into the image that you're about to see. All right. All right, so now I'm starting off with 3D Studio Max and here's my tree model. Just setting that up, setting up the camera, setting up the background. I brought in my beach background image from a photo I took on Venice Beach in California. So I'm trying to match the tree up to the perspective of the photo right now. Trying to get that in place. And now just starting to, starting to add to the scene, dropping some of the fruit from the tree down on the ground, up in the air. Uh, bringing in the balloon now. In the balloon, the hot air balloon, I'm going to repeat the same balloon, but change the texture, as you can see, on all the different balloons. So swishing up the, uh, swishing up the texture. Now, just adding the fruit onto the hot air balloons, and these are the ones that are picking up the fruit from the tree and picking up the fruit from the ground. Populating the sky up, adding all the balloons around. Just trying to trying just trying to put the scene together. Trying to figure out a composition right now. Adding a little depth to the scene. You know, pushing some of the balloons. Now you know, trying to push the tree back a little bit more, just to kind of add a little bit more depth to the scene. A little test render. Texture's not quite how I want them, so I'm kind of tweak the texture a little bit. Something like that. A little bit more balloons in there. Because right now, right now it's just kind of figuring out the, the, you know, how I want the layout to be. Because this is how it's going to be once I bring this the 3D, this 3D model into the actual image. Too. So this is, this has to be right at this stage. So another render and this one, this one came out pretty good. I think I like the way this one turned out the layout. Now we're in Photoshop. Let's take out this guy and I'm using the magic eraser you know, just to get the main solid uh, chunks of the sky out. It's an easy way to do it. Just click that magic eraser and then go around and click out the solid areas. And it's easier if you have more of a, um, a solid color than a, you know, a lot of things going on. Because the magic eraser will knock out all the tones of the color that kind of match what you're clicking. So just now just kind of going in and cleaning it up a little bit. I put a dark background in so I can see all the little leftover areas while I'm cleaning up these palm trees. This takes a little time, but you want to go in there and get it just right by hand because that's the best way for me.
pages out. So this is gonna help me get a better selection of the trees once I get ready to color correct the trees to match the new background. This is gonna give me a better um, a better selection once it, you know, once I clean everything up just right. And like I said, it takes a little time, but this is the best way that I know how to do it. It's just to go in, you know, zoom in past, you know, actual pixels and just go in and get everything just right. So now I'm going in and I'm kind of adding in the color to the edges. Just so you don't get too much of a white outline. going in through all the layers. Now I'm dropping in my 3D model and my sky. So my sky and my 3D model I just dropped in. And my skies, I dropped in two skies. I dropped in a night starry sky and a dusk sky. And you know, just blending everything together, matching the lighting, you know, putting everything in there. adding in some atmosphere, just something that kind of glues everything together. You know, a nice haze that kind of glues everything together, kind of, you know, fades off the sharp edges a little bit. Adding in some effects, lighting, and lighting is everything. If you don't, have, if you don't get the lighting right, if you don't have the sun and the shadows going in the same direction, then your image is always going to look off. So, adding in adding in the glows now. In the glows, I use um, the curves. I use the curves. Curves works best for me. You know, I pick a color, whatever glow color that I want, and I boost up the curves to the max. And then I then I uh, I you know mask out all the color of the curves, and I go back in and paint the visual glow that I need. So that's what you see right now. Painting in the glows. Fixing the haze. You know, making sure the glows aren't too strong, but just right. So kind of masking off a little bit. Desaturating the glows just a little bit. Cleaning up the 3D model. Some highlights, a little bit more highlights, and more, a little bit more blues in there, just to kind of balance everything out. And I think I'm already. I think this is. I think this might be good. Just add a little bit more shadows to the tree, to, to ground the tree a little bit more. Yeah, this is looking looking pretty good to me right here. Now it's just nit. <laughs> 